Kayla and I cleaned up Jazzy this weekend, I totally forgot to put my rain jacket back in the truck. I'm such a moron. Dang it! It's not terribly rainy, but it is rainy. And here we are in Lebanon, Ohio to wash two houses, this house behind me and this house behind me. It's always good to get them back to back to back like this, or back to back. I was supposed to get the one on the other side over there, but she said no. So let's watch this house. If you enjoy pressure washing related videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment and let me know if you work in the rain. If you work in the rain, leave a comment. Tell me if you do or if you don't. I'm anxious to hear. And then be sure and hit the bell tab so that we can spend lots of time together during this wash season. This is opportunity one of five on the day. Should be an easy day. I am running solo as Michaela, affectionately known as Squirt, is on sabbatical actually she had two doctor's appointments one this morning and one this afternoon so she took the day off a lot of times when people are working in their mulch they put their hands up to the vinyl and consequently they leave marks all over the vinyl siding i don't like to do this kind of scrubby scrubby but I do. I think it shows the extra effort uh, on my part. And they are paying for a house cleaning. Scrubbing it a little bit usually does work. And um, I'm already here. So go ahead and do it. They will not notice that I did the extra scrubby scrubby but they will notice if I don't and I don't want to have a callback for something that only takes 30 seconds to do in the first place here we are on opportunity number two had to move the truck a whopping 30 feet the rain has subsided a bit and it should be nice for the rest of the day, just an overcast. Someone will ask why I choose to work in the rain. And of course, I don't work in a downpour or if there's thunder and lightning, I'll stick it out in the truck till all of that passes. But there are a few reasons why I work in the rain, all of which are probably self-serving. One is because plant protection is at a minimal when it's raining. Secondly, my schedule gets backed up. And if I don't work when I can, then I end up rescheduling. And that stresses the schedule. It not only frustrates me, but even more so, it frustrates my customer base. But probably the main reason I work in the rain is because eventually I'm going to want to take a day off to be with my wife and sometimes impromptu and I want the sun to be shining on those days. I may want to be working around the house in the flower bed or spending time in the pool with my wife and I can't do that when it's raining. Thank you, Jill. You're welcome. Thanks for coming back again. Well, I'm super, okay. super grateful. Okay. And I'll get a bill, like I'll get the link. Okay. That's exactly okay. right. I'll send you the text. Okay. You'll get the link. You pay any way that you want to. Okay. That's what I was going to ask because my Venmo is on my, like I've switched banks. Okay. So I haven't switched my Venmo yet. So I can still pay with like a... Ab absolutely. Okay. Now it may charge you the 3%. Oh, um, but if you want to do Venmo, I can send you that link. That's not a problem okay. either. But um, also, when I get in my truck and I click the 
the the complete button, uh -huh. it's going to send you a link to my five star Google review oh, page. Oh, yes, Would you care to do that for me? Yes, a few kind okay. words. Yes. You're awesome. Love it. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Stay dry. Gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we are at opportunity three of five on the day i haven't been here in years another repeat customer look at this crazy she's not home i think i'm gonna do a few extras today like this walk away i'm just gonna throw like a three or four percent on there let it dwell while we wash the house Lots of bugs and grime and all that good stuff here. This is an interesting one. Let's wash. While I've got the 12 volt out, I think I'll shoot this side right here real quick. That's the dirty side. Man, that was terrible. Joni needs to call me more often. It has probably been three years since I've been here. I can reach it easily with the 12 volt. And in the time that it took me to shoot, let's look at that. It's already, I mean, what is that? 30 seconds? In that time, this is already set in, doing its job. Look at that. Already. It is turning out to be a beautiful day. Lots of cobwebs, spider webs, all that good stuff. All this will come down with a 2.1 injector with the 8 GPM machine. So here's a good test for us with the 2.1 injector that's nasty 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 we have the davis shooter tip all right we're going to put one little application on here with the davis shooter tip we're obviously kind of blasting it a little bit but here's a good pro tip for you you're wondering how much sh do i use on these jobs. Think of it like a sponge. So you've got a hard sponge in the sink at your home. How long does it take for that sponge to accumulate the water? Think about this. After, after the sponge has accumulated the water, it doesn't accumulate anymore. It just starts shedding off. So kind of think of that example in your head when you're washing. And once you feel like that sponge or the algae has soaked in all of the SH, it's not going to soak in anymore. You don't have to just keep blasting it. Let it go at that point. Okay, so here we are. Ready to rinse. 2.1 injector. Don't overdo it. You don't have to. Once you feel like that there's enough soap on there that it has soaked into the sponge, so to speak, adding more does not do anything but cause you to waste SH. So let it go. Let it dwell. Let it do its thing. All right. In the time that it took to wash the front of this house, that is nice and clean. Just needs a little rinsing. And then this walkway here. <laughs> Let the SH do the work for you. All 
right, we're all done with this one, all wrapped up. And you can see here, well, you remember what it looked like when we first got here. No pressure, no surface cleaner, only SH. And then moderate pressure with the M5 twist. And then that terrible green side, those terrible gutters. Nice, nice. Off to the next one. All right, here we are on opportunity number three where we'll be doing concrete cleaning on this job only. Beautiful golf course property here, about 10 minutes from my home. We're doing this pad here. Also, this walkway, the back deck back here, the garage floor, and then this walkway that leads up to this porch. We'll also be cleaning this brick area. And then as a bonus, we'll clean these gutters for her. There's a lot of plant life here. So the first thing I'm going to do is water down all of these plants nice and good. And then I'm going to shoot about 3% with the roof pump. This deck is absolutely horrid. I'm gonna make quick work of this. Look at this. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Bad news, bad news. But look, it's working instantaneously. Check this out. Lichen City. We like you the lichen. All right, we are all done, wrapped up, ready to go to opportunity number five on the day. Came out great, but check out this deck. You remember what it looked like before. Now check this out. Oh man, looks like a new one. Went ahead and did inside there and the paver stones. Came out great. Remember that lichen? She's very, very happy. All right, off to number five. All right, here we are at opportunity number five. The wind has picked up a little bit. Shouldn't be an issue because this home is spotless. Every now and then we'll pick these up. I actually had to text the homeowner to ask them to confirm the address. Maybe a little something on there, but this place is spotless. We're gonna make it more spotless <laughs> if that's a thing. Oh, cute little pool. Goochie, goochie, goo. Well, here we are. Let's plug in and work. So what do you do when you pull up to a house and it's absolutely spotless? And they've agreed to the price. And you've scheduled the date. And there's nothing really to wash. You wash. Some people just really enjoy maintaining their property. And I'm not sure, maybe they just moved in. Maybe it was already clean before the, I don't know the story. I don't know everything. Uh, it has been my experience in working with customers like this, that they are often picky. By the way, that's not an indictment against them. That's probably a compliment, if anything. We need more people who are like this, who just want to take care of their property. But because of that, we have to be very picky as well. I would like to think that we always do a top-notch job. 
but in particular when we have a home where you just can't really find anything dirty there better not be anything dirty when we leave and I'm confident that'll be the case this afternoon all right I am home that was only about two minutes from my house the homeowner came home and in fact they did just buy the home hence the nicely cleaned home but I'm glad I had the opportunity and uh, who knows what that may lead to they actually saw my truck in the neighborhood and said we got to get this guy to come wash our home hey I really appreciate you watching and if you enjoy pressure washing related videos be sure to like and subscribe hit the bell tab we'll get to spend lots of time together leave a comment do you ever wash clean homes hmm. do you ever work in the rain hmm. let me know all right my name is Mike they call me the fresh rinse and I'm out